What's up guys, welcome to your 143rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial, we're basically going to set up this location manner, manager to uh, get the last known location um, of basically our towers um, re in reference to you know triangulating in those towers. So the first thing we need to do is set up a criteria and we're going to just call, call this C or crit maybe and we're just going to set this equal to a new criteria just kind of the standard default criteria and then we're just criteria and then we're going to just import that and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up this string called towers based off kind of our location manager and the criteria what kind of criteria we're looking for so what we're going to do is say towers and we're going to set this equal to our location manager called LM and then we're gonna say dot get best provider and as you can see it takes criteria and also a boolean value so we're gonna set the criteria to crit and enabled only to false and as you guys can see if we hover over basically what this method is doing is returning the name or the provider um, that best fits the given criteria so we're basically getting best uh, you know the best reception or whatever you guys want to think of that as and also we can kind of use uh, different things like power requirement speed accuracy altitude uh, some of the things that we can check for but again we're just basically getting the best provider given our criteria and since our criteria is just kind of a default criteria <clears throat> um, you know it's going to kind of give us the default best provider uh, for this application since we're just kind of getting a location we don't really need to specify our criteria that much and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a location we're going to call this location um, L or location maybe like this and then we're going to set this equal to again our location manager and then we're going to use a method called get last known location and it takes a string so that's why we set up this string called towers because that's what we're going to uh, refer to and uh, again all we're doing is the towers is getting the best criteria and then we're going to try and access the location through the location manager getting the last known location called towers and then what we're going to do is as long as our location is not equal to be null as long as we you know got some sort of location that's where we're going to set up uh, basically what we have here so we're going to say if location is not null then you know we're gonna set up our int value um, again we can cut this um, actually we're just gonna say lat is equal to uh, and then we're gonna cast it in as an int because this isn't gonna return an int value and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say location dot get latitude and uh, we're also going to say longi is equal to again casting in an int and again our location dot get uh, longitude so that's just going to return our latitude and longitude values it's giving us an error because we defined those variables down here uh, what we're going to actually do is cut these and paste them above our class um, I know I kind of jump around when I do these tutorials so sorry if you yeah, guys uh, get kind of lost sometimes but again make sure you uh, define these variables lat and long um, above our class so we can refer to them later such as right here now that's going to get our lat and long and then what we're going to do is we're going to do our geo point and basically add our overlay uh, to our list within again uh, this if statement so we're just going to print and we're good to go else we can just make a text or something. Uh, we're just gonna say toast dot toast dot make text context main dot this or base context get base context whatever you guys want to type. We're gonna say couldn't uh, couldn't get provider. And duration toast dot length short and then we're just gonna say dot show so we don't even set up toast variable we're just gonna again show it and create it 
Um, so there we go. We kind of have that working. Um, but the problem that we may be having is, again, this is all created within the onCreate method. So, you know, it might not work. But that we're going to finish up this, you know, this whole Google Maps stuff in the next tutorial where we're going to use some of those methods that we implemented and get everything working right. So I'll catch you guys then and have a good one.